Hi, welcome to Street Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning a, a simple move, but a really nice move to know because it's going to build some confidence to start on some harder moves. Uh, some moves that's going to take uh, a lot of yeah, confidence. This move is called the tippy toe. You're going to be in the air in this move, so it's a little bit dangerous, so take care. And it looks pretty much like this. When I first started, I like to do it like this. I would uh, stand next to the ball, make sure I had some confidence. I would try to like jump a little just to make sure that, you know, I could do this without falling. Uh, and I did fall once or twice, let me just put that out there. <laughs> but the important thing is just to build some confidence and um, you'll be able to do it in like no time. As soon as you build the confidence to jump and grab the ball in the air, just go ahead and do it. It's important to do it with the tip of your toe because if you use too much of your foot on top of the ball, there's a much bigger chance that you're going to fall. Plus, uh, the less you use of your toe, or there's actually a balance, but usually the less you use, the easier it is to control what way the ball is going. You're going to find out that in the beginning when you try this move, the ball is going to go everywhere. It's going to go behind you, in front of you, to the side of you. Just live with it to begin with. It's very hard to control in the beginning. Uh, I still have problems controlling it with my left, unfortunately. So so don't worry if you fail like the couple of 50 first times or something like that. You're gonna get the hang of it and you're gonna be able to control it. Um, anyway, as I said, uh, you wanna control it with the tip of your toe. So as soon as you feel like you're getting the hang of it, you can kind of get up and touch the ball and get it to move somewhere. Try and see if you can control the direction of the ball. Uh, try and see if you can drag it to the side of you, try and see if you can drag it behind of you, stuff like that. Uh, remember, you can put this moves in a lot of combos. I mean, you can do it with uh, the scissor aka that I showed you last week. You can do it with the basic switch that I've shown you another time. Um, you can also do it with the V-switch. I mean, I mean, there's a hell of a lot of different ways you can incorporate this trick into your type of combo. So, um, try and use this move as much as you can and see if you can get into your repertoire of uh, moves. if you feel needs to be shared.